Matt Baldwin. I'm on tour right now. Uh, I live in Bar Harbor, Maine, originally from Portsmouth, New Hampshire. I've got a new album out on uh, Broken Sparrow Records called Most Valuable Player. You know, I gotta make it all the way out west, hitting some, some different spots, West Texas, and become a little more familiar with the, with the history of music in this neck of the woods. And I've heard great things about, about monks. I have some, some good friends that have come through here and peel in place for a new place, a new scene to check out. I was in Austin last night and was just like, all right, time to go to Abilene. And I'm happy to say that all these shows on this tour have been just consistently great. And, and this definitely um, falls into that, into that category. I thought it was a great show. band I was a member of touring and recording uh, was Dirty Projectors and that was a great experience. I'm still really close with all the people there. It allowed me uh, or was forced to get back into the electric bass which I, which I did I and mean, that's what I started out on um, before picking up the upright and I really I, I always like I always love the upright. I started playing music when I was like end of my junior year in high school started playing electric at my high school they had they had an upright there. And so I started playing like right before the summer and the whole, the whole summer leading up to my senior year I was just waiting to get, get my hands on the upright and um, I was really into jazz at the time. That was like my main, main interest and like attraction for the, for the bass and stuff. All summer I was just hanging with the electric in anticipation to get back to school. And once I did I just went crazy practicing and I just would play so much and just got huge blisters on my fingers and stuff. I ended up going to music school couple years, went to the Hart School of Music in Connecticut, found a really uh, great teacher, a guy named Rick Rossi. He was the first guy that um, got me into bow, bow playing, playing like, and, I, and that was when I really started focusing on technique and moving beyond just like, I was just interested in jazz and I started getting interested in weirder music, more experimental music. The bass just had a lot more, more possibilities and like, it just had a lot more sonic capabilities and, and the, the bow brought that, I think. On and on and on and on. 